Uh, this, the work behind me is called Ghosts, and um, it was it's um, based on or photographed from actually um, the Mahia reefs in on the east east coast North Island. I I went there when I was seventeen with my sister, and um, and it felt like a slice of heaven up there. Actually, the most beautiful white sand, and remote. And these particular reefs, very, very old geology. Um, each reef, when the tide goes out, is kind of feels a different, feels different from each other reef. There are quite a few. And when the tide goes out, the rocks become very white. I said, um, my husband and son, and they were going surfing, and um, I said, I think I'll just stay, stay here. And because I would noticed that the rocks were quite incredible, I just needed to spend a bit of time with them. <clears throat> And so I uh, started photographing them going really, really close. And I actually was just like, was able to make these incredible compositions of, you know, sort of sculptural works, some very, very minimal and others kind of more dense with hollows and beautiful lines and shadows. And it was just really white and looking at the forms and shadows and things. And so very, very three-dimensional surfaces and quite abstracted when I could, when I was able to remove um, references and also looking through the shallows too there's, there's like um, these beautiful kind of gentle ripples and I've called one work light and waves and you know it was like um, looking at an abstract painting with these markings in, in the rock purple markings with yellow streaks and things and I found the whole thing absolutely fascinating and I spent hours drawing uh, photographing and then and we actually made another trip back as well after that. And so this work was a result of, of those, um, that sort of field trip and those discoveries. And with this one, um, this one I've actually used a, a waveform pattern through the wood and then isolated parts too to suggest um, more dimension within the hollows. So I um, decided to work, um, use this electrostatic flocking on this work, which I've used in the past on, on moths. Um, which create that sort of a, a fuzzy kind of soft feel. And so the surfaces become quite indeterminate. I guess the, the, the work Ghost is a pr pretty interesting one. I mean, to me, it's a work that very seems very akin to things like minimalism and painting, you know. And I do think that's another thing to talk about in terms of Liz's work, is it? it is very related to, um, you know, traditions of abstract art, even though you could say, well, is the art abstract? Because it's got a lot of the world in it. Perhaps it's not the world as we look at it out the window of our car, but actually it are, there are recognisable things, recognisable forms and textures and things. Uh, but there is also, I think, a kind of a real um, trigger for these works in the, you know, in the traditions of, um, you know, say, minimalism, minimal start, people like Agnes Martin um, in America, um, but even in some New Zealand art, like, you know, Milan Merkisic, artworks that are really all about the surface, subtle mod modulations of colour and tone, and in the end of the day, trying to achieve an effect which is kind of quite numinous, quite elusive. So it's not about making pictures. It's not really in the painterly tradition of, you know, of, um, of Rita Angus's cast in that literal way. But there is actually, I think there's a real sense that, you know, these works do speak to and have faint echoes, ghosts, if you like, of art history. Um, also, I do think, um, as we mentioned before, to do with beauty and strangeness. I mean, there are surreal elements. There are dreamlike elements. When you look at ghosts, you know, it can almost look like bits of, um, you know, of, of human skeleton. It can have resonances of, you know, of other species. It's full of um, tremors, I think, like the best sort of surrealist art is. And so I think that's another of the sort of dynamos in Liz's work. There is a sort of a subconscious at work. It is to do with dreams and realities and that sort of um, subtle boundary between the two.